A guide to assembling your spike and smash set. Upon opening your box, you should find your instruction manual. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the parts in your set. To get started, insert the hinge into the frame with leg. Note that the axis of the hinge should face downward and the pegs on the frame should be facing upward. Repeat for the other side. Next, slide the hook and loop lock onto one of the frame legs. Insert a connector into one of the frame legs and connect both sides of the frame together. Repeat for the other side, completing the assembly of the frame. Next, pull out the leg, rotate and release to lock it into place. Repeat for all four legs and flip over the frame. Now it's time to attach the net. Place the netting in the middle of the step four assembly. Attach the netting to a peg on each side of the step four assembly as shown. Continue to attach the netting to the pegs on the underside of the frame. When the net starts to get tight, insert the net assembly tool through the net opening and pull and loop the net around the pole onto the pegs as shown. Continue to pull and loop the net until it is tight. Flip over the frame and attach the net caps to the pegs to keep it in place. Next, pump up your spike and smash ball. The needle is located in the handle of the pump. Tighten the netting if the ball does not bounce off the net as desired. To store your spike and smash set, flip over the frame, then pull out and rotate all four of the legs into the storage position. Flip up the clips to unlock the hinges. Store the spike and smash balls inside the net and fold the target. Lock the unit into place with the hook and loop lock and you're ready to go.